ignition is at three seconds. And then they let it go. Minus 15 seconds. And the final seconds nine, now. Eight. Seven. seven six, six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Ignition. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft. On the heels of the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11's return from the moon, we send more science and supplies up to the International Space Station. Small flight operation. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Looking beautiful so far. Q, maximum pressure on the rocket. Vehicle is supersonic. And I'm going to quickly throttle back. Vehicle is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. Back engine chill. So they begin chilling the engine on the second stage to get it ready to go. Beautiful shot there, looking up the tail end of the rocket. And there's the cape getting smaller and smaller. main engine cutoff. And we'll see separation just a little bit right after the engine's cut off. And down they go. Nico. There it is. Stage separation confirmed. And there goes the booster, which is coming back to land here at the Cape. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And there it is. Great shot of that booster coming off as it performs the boost back burn. Well, you can see it clear as day in the sun. That's the first of three burns as that booster gets ready to come back down. What a great shot. And there's the second stage. Proceeding into space. Stage one boost back shutdown. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. See the grid fins being deployed? Let's help steer, steer the, uh, the booster back down to Earth. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. So you can see the, the little exhaust there that uh, is steering that booster back down. And that from inside the second stage. 
Still got a shot of that booster coming down. Now it's vertical. That's a great shot. And it is falling fast. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. So SpaceX confirming that everything's looking good for both the booster that's falling back as well as the second stage, the spacecraft. They're uh, getting ready to enter orbit. It's hard to keep a track on that booster because it is falling fast. That's a great shot, though. All right. Well, we're going to toss it over to SpaceX and let them take it from here for the landing of the first stage as well as uh, the rest of the mission. Go ahead. Thank you, Daryl. In order to make its way back to our landing zone, the first stage is going to execute a series of three burns. The first is a boost back burn, which you've seen earlier, which is meant to slow the rocket down and orient it for re-entry. Shortly after this first burn, as you saw, the grid fins deployed. Those are the fins located near the top of the first stage, and they're deployed to help guide the rocket during descent. Following the boost back burn, Falcon 9 executes an entry burn, which is coming up shortly. It's to slow itself down before hitting the dense part of the atmosphere. Now last is the landing burn, which happens just before touchdown, providing the booster a soft descent to land. And our four landing legs also deploy at this time. You just heard the call out for the stage one entry burn. That'll go for about 10 to 15 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. At this point, both the boost back burn and the entry burn have been completed, so we're just waiting on that final landing burn coming up in about 10 to 15 seconds. Let's keep an eye on the screen to see if we can see those engines light. It should be coming up in about 10 seconds. FTS is safe. Stage one, entry transonic. <laughs> Stage one, landing burn started. And if you can hear the landing burn just started, there you heard the call out. Watch those landing legs deploy coming up shortly. Stage two has entered terminal guidance. There you can see those landing legs deploy. And touchdown of the Falcon 9 on landing zone one in Cape Canaveral. You can hear me. Congratulations to everyone here at SpaceX for another successful landing. This secondary mission is an important part of our commitment to vehicle reusability. And this marks the 44th successful first stage recovery. That's an amazing shot. Now back to our primary mission, continuing with our second stage on its way to desired orbit. The MVAC-D, or Merlin uh, vacuum engine, that you should see on screen shortly, is preparing to power down as expected. Now the second engine cutoff is coming up shortly. Let's listen in.